So today I'm just uh, sitting by the lake and with my naked eye I can see the rays uh, of the sun that are dancing on the waves reflecting on the trees and it literally looks like a light show you know like you know when the Christmas trees lights are on and it's flashing that's what we can actually see in reality can't we Priscilla we can see that with our naked eyes but as I'm using this lens to record you can't see it and I, I can't see it through the lens I don't know whether we'll be able to see it after this recording but it just got me thinking about how God made all things beautiful in its natural and pure form you know God has given us good gifts that make rich and add no sorrow but sometimes the lens that we look at it with sometimes the lens that we're using to see through are the ones that are causing us not to see not to really see the beauty or the glory i'm telling you in reality it looks like christmas lights are on on this tree <laughs> doesn't it yeah, it does. literally looks like christmas lights are on it's flashing there's rays and it's the the, the, the sunshine's rays are dancing all over the tree so beautiful so magnificent in its pure form so what lenses are you using to have a look at your life perhaps you've been looking at your life through the lens of other people's lives on social media perhaps you've been looking at your life in the lens of your siblings lives and comparing it to that it's paled it hasn't looked as glorious as it really is but today I want to encourage someone to just put the lens of heaven on I want you to begin to look in the mirror and see yourself as God sees you I want you to begin to look at your life and what God is doing what he has done through the eyes of your heavenly father you know sometimes in a time where you're caused to be still and not go anywhere you might even be on a hospital bed and you're thinking gosh why am I here? I wish I was out there. I wish you could be longing for what everyone else has. And yet God has actually given you that time of quiet, that time of rest from anything, from any assignments, any work. He just wants that one-on-one -on -one time with you. The place of a hospital is not a good place, not a nice place that anyone would want to be. But having failed to get you to quieten down and be still and know that he is God, in the humdrum of life he will take any opportunity he will use any scenario that the devil throws at you to work it out for good so just be intentional today have a look at your life have a look at what he has given you what you have your relationships your children your spouse your boss your business colleagues everything around you and just give thanks. Begin to see the beauty inside each and every one of those individuals. See the gold inside of them. That glimmer, that shimmer that is there. That maybe when they show up late at work, all you can focus on is, oh, they're always late. But when they show up, they save the day and bring this atmosphere of such joy. They know their stuff and do what needs to be done. Release grace as you begin this new week. God bless you.